How do you get rid of a cigarette smell inside a rental property? Oh, this is a tough question because house cleaners everywhere hate the question because it comes up when they do Airbnb turnovers or homeowners hate it when they have an Airbnb and they've got to turn the property and somebody came in and smoked. Oh, it's a pet peeve of everyone. So let's talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by Savvy Cleaner Training. This is a learning site where it is for house cleaners and maids and where there's a whole bunch of us. And right now we're going on a journey. We're building businesses. We're setting up house cleaning businesses from scratch and we're filling in all of the gaps and all of the things you wish you knew when you set up your house cleaning business. So on this foundation, you can build an empire and on this empire, anything goes. It's awesome. All right, so it's ongoing learning. It's group coaching. It is network support. Check it out at SavvyCleaner.com. All right, on to today's show. Very interesting question from a homeowner who called in and asked this question. Hi, Angela. I'm not a professional house cleaner, but my future daughter-in-law wants to know how to get the cigarette smell out of a rental property. But economically, I was thinking that after all the ways that you might clean, like the walls and whatnot, that perhaps if window treatments are included, that may add to the problem. I know sometimes this happens with specialty window treatments in buying a home. So what advice do you give to someone who wants to get the cigarette odor out of rental property? Thanks. This is Alice Keel. All right. If you have a rental property and this is going to be an ongoing thing, I recommend that you invest in an inexpensive ozone generator. They range from about $70 to $100 and I will leave links in the show notes to the ones that I personally recommend because I have two that are my favorite. All right, what they are is a little tiny unit that has a little ceramic plate that goes inside of it, and the ceramic plate lasts for about 6,000 hours. So if you ran it nonstop, which you don't, but if you did, it would last about 250 days. Now, when you use an ozone generator, you usually run it in bursts of like 20 or 30 minutes. So how do you get rid of all that cigarette smell? If it's a temporary thing, and this is not somebody that's been smoking in the house for years and there's tar on the walls and the ceiling and on the baseboards and all that stuff. This is just going to be a clean where you're going to disinfect everything and knock out that smell. Okay. So what you're going to do is you are going to remove all plants, pets, and people from the home because the ozone does not work well with plants, pets, or people. It's hazardous. Okay. So you're going to remove everybody. You're going to turn the machine on. And if you open the door after like 30 minutes, there will be smoke in the house. It's because the ozone is doing its job. Then you're going to let it settle. You're just going to let it settle. It's got a timer on it, so it will run through the cycle and then it will dissipate. When it dissipates, all the smell will be gone. Now, ozone is a natural process that helps, that starts in nature. And if you've ever been a part of, let's say that you've been outside when there's like a lightning or a thunderstorm and you can start smelling this funny smell in the air. It's, it's kind of like a rain smell. Okay, that's ozone in the air. What happens when the lightning hits, this is UV light. And as it hits, it breaks up the oxygen from H2 into H3. So there's an extra atom of oxygen and that is the ozone. And so what happens is at a chemical level, it starts breaking down bacteria and fungus and odors and all that stuff. That's why right after a rainstorm, it kind of stinks a little bit. And then after a while, it smells all new again. That's ozone. You replicate this process inside your house. And you shut all the windows, shut all the doors, get all the people, all the plants, all the pets out. And then when you are away, it does this process and it removes and breaks down chemically the smell from the drapes and the fabrics and the carpets and the furniture and all that stuff. So when you come back, the house won't smell like anything. It just smells fine. So the reason I recommend that instead of just putting a spray, a spray is going to mask the smell. But eventually, if you mask the smell so many times, it has its own smell. If you've ever stayed at a, I'm going to say a cheap hotel. If you've ever stayed at a cheap hotel and you walk in and you're like, what is that smell? That smell is spray over and over and over and over again, where the air actually hasn't been cleaned. It's just been masked. And so instead of just masking the smell, you want to remove the smell. You want to break it down at a chemical level so that the property then smells clean. Clean is... <sighs> I can, I can breathe. It's, you know, clean breathing in my lungs. It's not, ugh, I just breathed something and all of a sudden my eyes turn red and my sinuses clogged up, right? That's when you start masking stuff on top of each other. So what I really recommend is an ozone generator. Like I said, they're inexpensive. 
but they are great for Airbnbs, for vacation rental properties, for quick turn properties, and for apartment landlords that regularly turn tenants because you never know what might've happened in there. And you can also use your ozone generator even if you're not flipping a property. Let's say, for example, that you cooked with curry and maybe the members of your family don't like the curry smell so much. You can go in when everybody's gone to work for the day, turn the ozone generator on, you come back and there is no curry in your house. I know, it's awesome. Or if let's say that you cooked a a pie and the stuff oozed out over into your oven and then it burnt and there's the stink smell in your kitchen, the ozone generator comes and it has lots of purposes. And once you have it, you'll go, oh my goodness, what did I ever use it for? Also, ozone generator, if for any reason, and I'm not a big fan of bleach, but if for any reason you have to use bleach on a property and you remove the smell with the ozone generator, then what happens is you don't leave the lingering smell for days at a time as you leave the property. You burn that out with the ozone generator and you're on your way. All right, so I will leave links in the show notes. If you found this helpful, please pass it on to a friend. If we've earned your subscription, please subscribe or just give us a thumbs up and let us know how we're doing. Anyway, until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.